Hi everyone. We're continuing on with our research into this Bo Bergdahl incident where this man has been exchanged. He was a prisoner of war by the Taliban for five years and that he has been exchanged for five prisoners from Guantanamo Bay. And we're showing how this is all going by the Bible, the symbolism of the end times. Bo and his name represents the Bo of the first horseman of the book of Revelation. See here the rider on the white horse and he receives a bow and a crown. But right here. And now we're going to show today that these five prisoners that everybody is talking about, how they are super commanders of the Taliban, we're going to show that they're actually represented in the Bible also. They represent the frogs coming out of the mouth of the false prophet and things. Revelation 16, 13, And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Right here. This has that symbolism. Now, crazy or not, most people are not going to make this connection. These people have been released on purpose. They have been, I mean, in some of the deepest secret bases that the U.S. government has ever had. And we're going to show that it was all meant to happen. Just as right over here, this is Area 51. All of the Earth is as a grid. Your own town and neighborhood is like a giant microchip mapping out what's going on. Right here, you can actually see all of this here mapped right out. See this person in this box? See this person right in here they're creating? They're blending the DNA with something they have up here that's buried with humanity and creating these things here. And it has a connection to the dog star Sirius. See the little dog here? And when these people look like this little clown it represents like a clone of the things that they're creating here. Those five people that they sent back to the Taliban are all sent to help start Armageddon. These secret agencies want to have scripture all fulfilled. They want to get to Armageddon in the end of days. The mark of the beast. All right there? Well, let's go down and show Guantanamo and show them doing this also. They have a way that they are cutting our connection. We are connected to the dog star Sirius. And by them cutting this connection in the New World Order, the person's soul will not be able to ascend. You have to actually get through this dog star to get to heaven, uh, through stargates and things. It's an actual... The dog star is considered to be the star of Bethlehem and is part of God's throne. So if our connection is lost to this, we don't have a connection to heaven anymore. So let's go show this down in Guantanamo. This is Guantanamo, where the base is, as they say. The prison. See right here, from Guantanamo Bay? The detainees. Now this is mapped out, as I say, by God himself. It's The whole earth is this way. This, is, this has to happen. This is just horrible, but it's actually going by scripture. There's no way mankind has mapped everything out I show. I mean, the very... <clears throat> geography of all of the earth. Even as it changes, it's going according to what God wants to have happen. Just as a giant script. Right here on this glyph from Akhenaten, which matches the end times, it shows this individual coming down with the key to open the abyss of the Bible. Right here. But up here is the dog star Sirius. In the left side is the accuser, exactly as in the Bible. And the right side is where Jesus sits until he goes and sits on top of the throne. Then he will assume all control. He's, this represents the rapture. See this phoenix? And here comes Russia rising up right there. But all this is right here. Let's show this right here in Guantanamo. This is where those people were. You can actually see right here is the base. And here is this skull. 
See this skull right here? And it's empty. I've been showing this that <clears throat> they pull the souls out. This is real. You know for the Bible to be real and for you to be a Christian, all of this would have to be real. I mean, we are trying to be born into our new immortal bodies and to be taken to paradise. It's all real. So you can see this skull right here. Well, they show this entity coming like an apple and like a big V. And he, he has a smile almost like the Joker, their guy that is going into here. They have pulled out the soul and now this thing is going in. This big thing like this apple. See this clownish looking guy? See the little alien back there? See how he looks like a clown? The Joker? There he is. Going into this skull. At the same time, over here, there's a big Snoopy figure representing the dog star Sirius and it's being cut loose. <clears throat> See the big Snoopy figure here? This is being cut out. They are cutting our connection towards to heaven right here. Without this there's no way to get in. Here's another glyph. See the dog star right here? And you can see this person shooting the arrow through the dog star Sirius, through the dog, and we go into heaven, seen as the leg of the bull, the Pallades, seven sisters, the seven stars, the seven angels, the seven golden candlesticks, and Jesus' right hand, where all of the goodness of the universe is bound in one place, as God said in the book of Job. After this is shut, see the dog? Now you see up here this pirate guy working the guillotines. Now this is the only way into heaven after the, you know, you, if you take the mark of the beast, you can never get to heaven. If you lose your head at the guillotines, you will go to be with Jesus Christ and be in heaven. But there's the dog again. There it all is. Right there. Perfect. Let's take all this off. Here's the skull right down here. See this? This means we're, we're getting closer to Armageddon. That's what this means. You can see this large thing coming right here. See like this big apple? The alien in it? See this right here? Blending the iron with the clay? blending humanity together right there it's right there and then you can see the dog's connection being cut for those that have seen an old movie called the golden compass they did this in there with Nicole Kidman they were trying to cut everybody's connection and then to you know to cut all of our connections to any spiritual realms right there to make us just laborious beasts upon the earth with no connection to heaven and the stars in any way. There you go. There's your government hard at work. God, and what you know the hardest thing to, to realize in all this is this is meant to happen by God himself. This is coming. This is supposed to happen. It's just terrible. Call out to the Lord Jesus Christ now before this begins. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, everybody. These five guys are now working for the secret government as they plan for the new world order for the Freemasons and Illuminati and they are right inside of the top level Islamic people getting them all ready for Armageddon they are in control of all sides thank you very much everybody may the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all and remember all of this is going according to scripture 
So it, it's, it's bound to happen. Jesus Christ is the one who opens the seals of the Bible and begins all this. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.